what is absolutely the best way to teach syncopation? The best way is through discovery learning. In discovery learning, students discover a new concept. They listen to you play syncopation first. touch release at the end. All right, so you count it, you play it, you have the student listen to certain sections of it, maybe a couple phrases a few times in a row, and then have them count along with you. So, one and two and three, four, one, two, Ooh, let's do that again. One and two and three, four, one, two, three, four. Go ahead and clap the rhythm. One and two and three, four, one, two, three, four. Look at them right in the eye, have them clap with you, or clap back and forth. So you clap it, have the student clap it, teacher claps it, the student claps it. We look right in their eyes, we do it together. One and two and three, four, one. So back and forth and together. And then if the student, uh, if you feel like the student needs to write in some counting, this is the perfect time, that very first lesson of learning the new piece. So you can also have your students tap it on their thighs. So let's take it from the beginning. One and two and three, four. One, two, three, four. One and two and three, four. One, two, three, four. They can decide with you which patterns, which phrases have the exact same rhythm. Oh, that'll make it easier for them. And you know, the very first week of practicing, I might just have them do just that. They clap out the rhythms of certain measures that you can mark with them in their lesson, have them tap the rhythm on their thighs. They can use the metronome, of course, while they're doing that. And that's it for the first, for the first week of learning this piece.